Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to update an existing Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy using manual policy building. This is Demo 20 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to update the existing security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system already has an Advanced WEF security policy, used to protect the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced WEF can update the existing web application security policy. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we're protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 18. Manual update. Security policy. Let's examine the allowed file types page. The security policy is already configured with the 8 file types needed for this web application. Notice that the HTML file type is not on this list. Next, we'll look at the allowed URLs page. The security policy is also configured with every URL needed for this web application. Finally, we'll examine the parameters list page. There are 10 parameters used in this web application. And they're all at the URL level. And also enforced. Let's access and use the DVWA web application. We'll use this page to look up a user account. We'll then use this page to send a text string and view the response. The security policy has been configured with all file types, URLs, and parameters that were needed when the web application was created. However, the web application has recently been updated, adding new file types, URLs, and parameters. Therefore, we must also update the security policy accordingly. For example, when we attempt to access this URL with an HTML file type, we're blocked. We're blocked from accessing the instructions.php URL. And also the about.php URL. Finally, although we can access this URL, when we attempt to use the parameter on the page, we're blocked. These requests are being blocked because they are requests for file types, URLs, and parameters that have been added to the web application since we created the security policy. Until we add these entities to the security policy, Big IP Advanced WEF will see requests for them as illegal, and block them. We'll now open the security policy which we can quickly get to by clicking on Application Security. Notice the Policy Builder Learning Mode is set to Disabled. We set this because the security policy was complete, and we didn't want to enable the Policy Builder to continue learning new elements. We'll change the Learning Mode to Manual. And then Save and apply the policy. We'll now access the web application again. The request for the HTML file type is still blocked. The requests for both the instructions and about URLs are still blocked.
and the request using the parameter on this URL is still blocked. Next, we'll examine the Big IP Advanced WEF Traffic Learning page. In manual learning, we use this page to see the new learning suggestions and to add valid entries to the security policy. The HTML file type wasn't added to the original security policy. If we accept this suggestion, the policy builder will add this new file type to the allowed file types list. We'll accept the suggestion. In addition to the new file type, we also accessed a new URL, the user policy.html URL. We'll also accept this suggestion, which will add this URL to the allowed URLs list. By selecting multiple suggestions, we can add the new URLs and new parameters at one time. Let's access the web application again and test the security policy updates. We now have access to HTML web pages. We now have access to the instructions.php and about.php URLs. And we can now use the parameter on this page. We'll now address a potential false positive. We'll input this text string into the field on this page. The request is blocked. However, this is actually a false positive, as our users should be able to enter this text string into the field. Let's examine the blocked log entry in the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. This request was blocked because it matched an attack signature. We've decided that we don't want to block requests that match this attack string, but only for this specific parameter. We can use this link to view the learning suggestion based on this violation. This opens the traffic learning page in a new tab, with the suggestion selected. The action is to disable this signature for the name parameter, which is the parameter we were just using on the web page. We'll accept this suggestion and then apply the policy. Let's test the text string again. The request is now allowed. Let's test the text string in another parameter. The request is blocked. As a reminder, the attack signature was only disabled for the name parameter. The last thing we need to do is return to the security policy settings. Now that the security policy has been fully updated, we can once again disable any additional learning. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to update an existing F5 Big IP Advanced WEF security policy using manual policy building. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.